Florida is just one of many states working toward a full reopening, but with COVID-19 mutations already showing up in Europe and China, scientists may have to work quickly to find new ways to test for the virus, especially if we get hit by the dreaded second wave. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Emerald Morrow explains why experts says we're already behind. They call it a novel coronavirus for a reason, and that is it's behaving like no other thing we've seen. And right now, China and parts of Europe have mutated forms of COVID that could impact the U.S. in a possible second wave come fall. What we need to be able to do is to predict how we think it's going to change, learn from China and Europe as it does mutate there and have another way by which we can test for it. Dr. Jay Wolfson of USF says the chemicals used to test the blood or serum will have to be different. We have to be able to have samples of that mutated virus or as we do in influenza, we can predict with statistical models what kind of mutation it's going to take because we've had so much experience with it. We have no experience with this. It's going to surprise us and it's been pretty mean spirited how it's done that. The problem is researchers are so busy handling the current strain. Dr. Wolfson says we're already behind in looking ahead to fall. They're so overwhelmed with trying to develop a vaccine and to making sure that we have enough test kits available now that probably a small portion of their time is being spent anticipating what a mutation might look like. Making it all the more important to wear masks and exercise social distancing to keep cases under control. Although President Trump vowed this week the country will not shut down again. We're going to put out the fires. We're not going to close the country. Either way, the onus is on us to help keep each other safe. Be responsible, be respectful, and presume that this armed and dangerous killer is going to be with us for a while. We've talked a lot about testing for mutations of coronavirus. Here's a sharper insight on how that's done. Dr. Wolfson says when researchers develop testing kits, they use chemicals called reagents to test your blood for the virus. But to do that, they need samples of the mutated virus. It's one reason why doctors say it's so important for us to be working with countries already seeing these mutations. So we're prepared to detect a new version of coronavirus. Mutations are definitely a cause for us to be on high alert as Florida continues to get new coronavirus cases each day. As of this morning, the state reported 676 new cases and 43 new deaths. Out of all the tests the state received yesterday, only 2.7% came back positive. And out of the more than 858,000 people tested in our state over the course of this entire pandemic, only 5.9% of those results came back positive. Now remember, before any state started its reopening process, the White House recommended we see either two weeks of consistent decreases in daily new cases or two weeks of a consistent decrease in the percentage of tests coming back positive. Despite being full steam ahead on phase one, Florida is still not at that two week consist consistent decrease. This is a look at all of our cases since March, and you can see in the last two weeks, there's still been at least one major spike. But keep in mind, this could just be because there was a higher number of tests taken than other days.